but I thought I'd, I'd point out some of the interesting features about this foot. Um, this foot is made uh, primarily of carbon fiber, so it's extremely light but very, very strong. And it mimics the anatomy of a natural foot. And here you can see uh, the heel area. It's basically uh, a heel with a, a like a shock absorber that's uh, that can be adjusted for for various uh, amounts of give and spring. Um, we have here uh, it's an articulated ankle so that it will actually uh, flex and give you the proper roll on your foot uh, for when you you step and push off. You want that foot to flex and roll you forward. Um, this shock absorber here, uh, called a bumper, is primarily responsible for that action. Right at the, at the moment, as I'm shooting this video, this particular bumper is a little bit too tight for me. There's a little bit too much uh, tension on it, so that's going to be adjusted tomorrow. Uh, as it stands, um, given my height and my weight, this, uh, this bumper isn't actually giving me the rolling motion uh, that I need to have to maintain a proper, proper walk, a proper gait, and, and keep my hips aligned and so forth. Um, also, where the, the foot attaches to the, uh, the, the main uh, piece of pipe, which would mimic you know, like your, your tibia bone, um, the, um, the height of the, of the foot is adjustable, so you can customize the, the length uh, down to, to the millimeter. Right now mine is just slightly uh, longer on the prosthetic leg than it is on my my right leg which is which is my own leg and so that's going to be adjusted tomorrow as well. That is pretty essential in keeping hips aligned um, and here we see what will give and maintain your balance and these are are, uh, they mimic the great toe and the little toe of the foot, so that will help to give you balance. Now I spoke about um, the liner earlier, and I've got two examples of the liner here. Uh, one is inside out, and the other is, um, is the way it would be seen as I wear it. So I'll show you the one that would be seen as I wear it uh, to begin with. It's a liner that rolls up over uh, my residual leg, and here you can see the pin at the bottom. It's a removable pin, and it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that in this somewhat poor lighting, but it's, uh, it's notched and ridged, so it will actually click into the receiver on the prosthetic leg um, and then uh, be released by the button that I showed uh, earlier. And uh, so it's got, uh, like a, a cotton mesh type of material uh, covering the inner um, silicone uh, body of, of the um, of the sleeve that covers my leg, and I'll show you that. This is my second liner, and as you can see, it's sort of a, a rubbery material. It's it's actually um, silicone, and because of it of um, the need for a good grip on the residual leg. Uh, they use the silicone because um, as your, your body heats up it will actually um, 